Good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. This is Full Circle with Joyce. My name is Joyce Amonti Bahiga. Karibuni sana to yet another episode. It is Friday, the very first Friday of April, and we want to close the week off uh, well. So, Karibuni tena, you guys. It's a rainy morning in Nairobi, but I hope you're well, keeping warm. Tokeni na umbrella kaba doja toka nyumba after. Full circle with Joyce, of course. Today on the show, we want to talk about design rules and ideas for adding color to your space. We also want to look at bathroom decor. You know, a lot of times this is the room that people just kind of forget about, but there's a way that you can actually make it a very serene space and just a place that you can go in and relax. And of course, at the end, we're going to have our personality interview. It's a guy I'm sure many of you have seen and you're going to enjoy just listening to him today. But before we get started, of course, here's your inspirational word. And it says, sometimes you have to let go of the picture of what you thought life would be like and learn to find joy in the story you are actually living. Let me read that again. Sometimes you have to let go of the picture of what you thought life would be like and learn to find joy in the story you are actually living. How profound, because so many times you're looking at Kinanani and their car, Kinanani and their big house, or oh, Kinanani have these huge careers and everything that they're doing. And you forget that you yourself too are blessed. And it's so important to live in the moment, to treasure every day because truly it is a gift. And so rather than, you know, wishing and wanting and coveting and being jealous of this, that and the other, are you actually living in the moment? Are you grateful for what God has blessed you with today? Your children, your relationships, the job that you have. Many people in this country don't have work. Be grateful for where you are and for where you have started. Knowing that also it's a story stories have progressions so this may only just be one chapter in the next chapter there may be a bit of drama but then there'll be a climax and there'll be suspense and there'll be a beautiful ending at the end of it all all right so be encouraged with that even as we get ready for the weekend and uh taking us uh or kicking us off rather as we begin the show we have mimina by chris a baba featuring mag 444 and abel chungo kicking off the show karibu sana to full circle with joyce
All right, guys. Well, Karibuni Tena to Full Circle with Joyce, with me, Joyce Omondi Waihiga. Uh, today on the show, it is Style and Culture Friday. And uh, we just want to share some tips with you guys how to glam up your space, spruce it up just a little bit, um, and also just look at other uh, notes and 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 things in style and culture in addition to our personality interview. So be sure your friends and your family are tuned in uh, to Switch TV right now, okay? And uh, as we kick off the show, we want to talk about bathroom decor and how to customize your bathroom with different accessories. And joining us on the show, I have Diane Combo, Como um, and Alex Koinange from Pambo Palace. Karibuni sana to the show, guys. All right, so the bathroom very important place in the house obviously it's used a lot <laughs> it's used a lot quite frequently <laughs> and um, it's it's a small room but it's important to take care of it on so many different levels even just health wise right yes. um, so talk to us about the different sort of things that we can do in a bathroom because now there's products your cleaning products there's maybe the things you use to get ready in the morning it's like a small space that can jar many things what are some of the things that people can use, for example, to organize their soaps? Hand soaps, bathing, sh like, hey, soaps. <laughs> soaps. <laughs> what are some of the things that people can use uh, for that? Yeah, I can take that. So, um, we put into consideration how small most uh, the standard bathrooms are. Yeah. And we try to, uh, to come up with things that will fit and be as neat as possible. Mm -hmm. So we have this uh, bamboo palettes. We can call it a customized lotion holder. Okay. You can uh, put it on the toilet, put it on maybe a small counter if there's one in the bathroom. Yeah. It's very small and very convenient. Mm -hmm. Have your lotions in. And it's also waterproof. Okay. Because it's lined with wax and the materials used uh, to make this are heat treated so okay. they don't rot. Okay. It's quite, uh, it's quite neat. Yeah. Mm, I like that it's wood because a lot of people will get those uh, plastic things. Yes. Uh, but this is a different touch. If you're looking for a different touch for your space, you can use, do you call it just like a wood, do we call it a wood basket? What do we call it? Oh, you can just call it a wood basket, a pumbo wood basket. A pumbo wood, <laughs> eh, so you are co-marketing. <laughs> it comes out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a pumbo wood basket. All right. Um, what about you know, your cleaning supplies. Um, sometimes people don't even leave them there just because the space is too small. Or you enter a place and you find, you know, the windows are completely lined with all their different cleaning products. What are some of the other solutions people can have? Um, we at Pambo Palettes have made some interesting and um, beautiful things to put or place on the toilet or on the, because most people place them on the windowsill, on the window sill, to yeah. place on your windowsill, or even just to stand alone that you can be able to put your tissues and your cleaning products. Okay. Now, for example, we have this here, mm -hmm. which um, that was just a customized um, decoration. Okay. Now you just place all your cleaning products and even tissue if, you know how a tissue roll can end while you're in the loop? Yeah. You place the extra one there for your guest or for yourself. Okay. Uh, other than that, we have um, such, where you have even magazines and um, you can put even newspapers and puzzles because um, the toilet is... Uh, can you, do you mind lifting that up for us, please? Yeah, sure. All right, look at that. Pack your magazines, kabuk. Yeah, you can do your crossword. You <laughs> don't have guys to be like on the to phone. Spend time. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people spend time <laughs> thinking, maybe. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your magazines. So yeah. in place of chatting, you can have something. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what is this one specifically? You can you can lift it up for us as well. Yeah. So. Oh. It's, it's like a, a swinging shelf. rope um, shelf. Okay. Now you can hang this um, on top of your toilet if you know for those really tiny loose, yeah. or you can even hang it on the bathroom. You can arrange your towels on there. You can arrange, say, your tissue. Okay. You can arrange your tissues and um, your cleaning products on it also. Okay. And yeah. would it, it will balance, right? It will. Yeah. It will. It will. I just and have it's to. very easy to mount. Yes, and it's quite easy to mount and adjust. Okay. So even oh, if you you're moving, yes, yes, you can. If you're moving around or you're placing like um, you want to change um, like um, from one place to another, mm -hmm. you can always just use it. And this, I mean, in the bathroom with the steam and all that, it's not gonna get damaged. No, no, it won't. 
well, our products are heat treated and um, we apply wax on them and um, other nitty gritty things that help you to become waterproof. And pallets in itself, they are already recycled products. Yeah. And um, if you've ever seen pallets and you're out there, they used to carry the heavy things, even um, liquid stuff and mm -hmm. all. So even as they come, as the wood itself, as it comes, it's already prepared for such um, um, uses. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what then are the advantages really of using pallets over, you know, the other materials that most people would typically use? Well, uh, I will start by saying that there's this fulfillment you get by knowing that you're contributing to your environment. So there's knowing that you're recycling, of course. And the wood itself, um, it's heat treated wood. Okay. So the worries of rotting are basically non-existent. Yeah. And the rustic look brings a deco look to it. It's very easy to adjust because it's, it's soft wood. Mm -hmm. So we can design it to your liking. So yeah, basically I'd say those are quite okay. good advantages. Tell us about what you have in front there. Well, you can take that one. Um, at the very front there we have small signs that you can um, stick, uh, say, behind the toilet door mm -hmm. or maybe in the bathroom or maybe next to the, the vanity that is um, at the washroom area. And um, a lot of them are a bit humorous. And they do you want to pick a few and show us? Yes, sure. Okay. Like um, wipe it real good. Which is my camera. As you wipe it real good. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, <laughs> the best seat in the house. <laughs> yeah. You, you can also have um, Karibu Kitty. <laughs> and um, so on and so forth. You can even um, like incorporate anything else that anyone asks for. Okay. Yes. Very cute and <laughs> very funny. Um, <laughs> Again, just to kind of hear you guys' backgrounds, yeah. how did you end up in this business? Alex? So, um, uh, my wife is quite artistic. Okay. And uh, I used to venture into businesses a lot. So I'd, every time I'd come home, she'd constantly show me, she's into deco, very much into deco. Mm. She'd constantly show me photos of uh, things made out of palette and she'd talk about it. I had no idea they existed. So at a certain point where I can say we were a bit low, I decided to give it a try okay. and I loved it. <laughs> so we made uh, most of the things in our house a palette. We okay. started by making our own things. Yeah. And in the process we decided, I think this is something that uh, the country would be open to. Okay. Yeah, and now it's been about a year. Wow. Yeah. How's business so far? What sort of clients do you mostly find? How is the Kenyan market responding to to this? Uh, yeah, okay, see, the Kenyan market is responding really well and um, when it comes to decor and um, beauty, I think Kenyans as a whole love to look good and have the things look good. Mm -hmm. So um, our market is consistent from the very low ones to the very high end. So we consider that our products are of good quality. We are looking for, we customize things according to um, what you want and also to try and fit your budget okay. because for example if someone wants something really nice for their toilet and they cannot go the very high margin you won't give them this sure. perhaps we'll tell them you can have this if it's if your bathroom especially if your bathroom and the toilet are the same so yeah. you can have your tissues and your towels and you can even place your um, soap uh, or dish soap over yeah. there on top or if there's someone else who can't even fit that, you tell them there's like a sign over there. Mm -hmm. You can just put behind your door mm -hmm. or maybe on the on the corridor or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So yes, the market has been very good to us and God has been gracious. Good. Yes. I don't know if we lifted up this one, but this one even has like the washcloths yes. on yes. it. And that's nice. And this one can sit very easily on your on top of your toilet, right? Yes, yes. you can even mount it on the wall. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So talk to us about the pricing uh, as we get ready to, to wrap up this segment. About how much are these things going for? Maybe we'll start with that big one over there. The big one? Yeah. This one goes for 4000 If you want it uh, a bit taller, about half a foot taller, we will just uh, top up with 500 Because okay. the people who would uh, like it a bit higher. Yeah. It's the most pricey one. Okay. The rest will range uh, mostly be below two thousand. Okay. Like the rack that has the toiletries mm -hmm. is one thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, this small piece is eight hundred only. Mm -hmm. This one is one thousand two hundred. One thousand five hundred. What I like about this 
the, the rack, I, I'll even call it like a caddy, because if you don't have a lot of space in your bathroom um, to put things there, or you just maybe you just don't even like that look. I personally don't like the look of like 100 different bottles <laughs> in my bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, you take your cleaning products and you can move around with them from like, if you have more than one bathroom, for oh, example, yes, yes. you can use it as if it had a handle, I'm sure you could customize yes, that. Yes. You can move around with it from room to room yes. as you clean, and then you just go and store them away nicely and you know it's all nice and neat yes yes we can also customize according to um what your bathroom looks like yeah perhaps you have a certain color scheme that you're going with and you don't want the color of a toilet um, oh, cleaner so you there can have, these yes we can yeah. give it um different colors and different um, shades and hues okay yes well guys i hope you've learned something here today as far as how you can accessorize your bathroom be it from the funny cute <laughs> signs <laughs> like a uh, best seat in the house <laughs> or if you need some magazines and a place to store them in your bathroom um that as well uh before we go how or before we let you go how can people find you you can find us on social media on instagram as bumble palettes mm -hmm. on facebook as bumble palettes mm -hmm. and um also you can find us um you can email us as bumble palettes at gmail.com okay mm -hmm. yeah we also had something for you oh i yeah. love presents <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a key holder wow. you can mount it on the Look wall at that it's very beautiful you guys and the wood, very beautiful. Thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah, very cute. Like an Afro chic kind yes, of thing. Yes, absolutely. I love it. I love like Afro urban design as well. So thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Um, well, guys, <laughs> we're going to take a short break right now. But when we come back, of course, we have so much more in store for you right here uh, concerning style and culture here on, on Full Circle with Joy. So please stay tuned. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. It's Style and Culture Friday here, the very first Friday of April. Hopefully it's going well for you guys. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, give us your feedback on how you're enjoying our programming this morning. Um, as we get into our next segment, which is design rules and ideas for adding color into your space. The SMS line is double two triple nine. You can also reach us on our social media platforms. That's at Switch TV KE on Instagram and at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, of course, joining me now, I have Ifanta Skithinji um, from iTattoo Interiors. Uh, Karibu Sana, he's an interior designer and he's been here on our show before, so yeah. Karibu Tena. Yeah, so, so. Now, you know, many of us like will look at Pinterest, we'll look mm -hmm. at magazines and you just see all these spaces that are so well put together mm -hmm. that I'm just like, how come my space doesn't look like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> at the moment, for me personally, I'm really thinking about adding color into my space, color. specifically on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, so I want us to start with that wall paint. Wall paint. It's it's one of those things, they, I feel like there's two types of people. Mm -hmm. There's those who are just absolutely scared, mm -hmm. you know, of picking the wrong color and uh -huh. the space just looking a hot mess, yeah. that they don't do any color. Yes. Then there's the ones who, them, they just love color. You'll find this wall is yellow, this one is green, mm -hmm. that one is orange. Yes. I mean, talk and to us. And the majority of those people are in Central. In, 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 <laughs> at in Central. Yes. At <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but talk to us about, like, color and adding and mm. the effects of the different colors that we put on our walls in terms of lighting for example maybe we Fantastic. can start there so there's no design without color mm. there's no design without color and we can take it from even from the bible even with god hey, by okay. the time he was creating when he said let there be light yeah. he was just preparing <laughs> surface for color you know the only way to appreciate color is lighting yeah. So there are so many things that you need to consider by the time you're choosing color. Okay. Uh, so by the time you have your small room or your big house, there's some um, what I call, um, we call them in design principles okay. that you have to follow. Sure. Um, art and design does not have rules. Mm -hmm. It does not have rules. Mm. But there are principles okay. that help you achieve what you want as an artist. Okay. So uh, as a tenant, you get an opportunity to be an artist. So you come into your house, a few things you need to consider. Number one, lighting. So is there light? Let there be light. 
have a big window, have a small window, get artificial lighting, get bulbs. Then from there, you look at what you're working with. Mm -hmm. How many walls are you working with? What's the shape of your room? How big is it? How small is it? How high is the ceiling? Mm -hmm. You know, those, all those things you need to consider. Okay. Then what you will have inside the room. What's the color of your furniture? What's the color of your accessories? Mm -hmm. So from there, when you have all these things together, then you decide, hey, if I have a black chair, I mm -hmm. can go this way. Mm -hmm. Then from there, 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 um, there are characters that we follow, characteristics of colors that we follow. Well, color, uh, I don't want to uh, go deep. I okay. just want to make it relevant to the viewers. We have, when you look at color, how does it appear? Yeah. That is hue. Okay. Is it red? Is it blue? Is it green? Okay. Okay, then there's the warmth, the temperature of the color. Is it warm? Is it cold? Right. Is it so cool? warm colors would be like... Like our set is very warm, right? It is very warm. It's reds, it's yes. oranges, yellows. Yes. You know, those colors evoke a certain yes. mood. Yes, yes. Yeah. So warm colors have a bit of yellow and a bit of red. Okay. But at the same time, you can have a yellow that is very cold. Sure. Okay. Then the cool colors obviously have blue in them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But still you can have a blue that is a bit warm. There's, okay. there's just a way of doing that. Yeah. Then you, get, you go into intensity. How bright? or how dull is the color, okay? So if you have red, there can be a red that is very strong. It shocks you when you walk in. But there can be a red that you walk in and it's dull. It mm -hmm. dampens your mood. Mm -hmm. So you need to consider all those things. Then there's the value. Is it, does it have white? Does it have black? Is it light? Is it dull? Yeah. Is it dark, sorry. So th all these things, you consider all of them together before you choose a color. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing you say is that beyond just saying this is my favorite color you know yes. i really love red and so i'm gonna splash it on my walls yes. before as much as it's your favorite color you also need to think about how it's going to affect your space yes. and beyond that also thinking about your furniture your mm. floors your mm -hmm. carpets the lighting that's coming into a room yes. can we talk about that um specifically about so if i want uh, what you designers would call an accent wall maybe you can first explain that yes. and then talk about how to go about picking colors beyond the furniture for an accent wall. Ah, fantastic. So we, there's a rule that artists follow or designers follow. Uh, the 60-30-10 rule. Okay, 60-30-10. So 60-30-10. Mm -hmm. 60 being the base color. Okay. When you walk into your house, it's like if you are to look at a person who's wearing a suit, what color uh, of the suit is he wearing? Right. Is it black? Is it blue? Yeah. Okay, so what's the color of your house? So that that's where you're going to have majority of the walls in one color. Majority of the walls in one color. So, so this story of every room, wall different no, colors no, no. is not good. Well, we are moving away from that. Okay. Uh, there's there's room for that, like in this space. There's uh, because of the function of yeah, this space. Yeah. You have the white. You have the printed wall. You have the wood at the back. You have the glass. All that. Yeah. Plays together to bring a character into this set. Mm -hmm. But for your home, you it's don't want that. Yeah. You want to walk in and you want to, your mind to settle. Yeah. So take three walls, okay? Uh, have one color. I would advise that you go towards the lighter colors. Okay. The whites, the off-whites. That way, what you'll be doing is giving light to the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the base. It's like a piece of paper. You have the base. Mm -hmm. So then after you have the base, what do you do? You take uh, a red pen and you choose where you're going to draw the line or where you're going 30? to shade. Now that's the feature wall. Okay. That's the 30 rule. Okay. Okay. The feature wall now ties the whole room together. Maybe that's where you're going to have the TV or that's where you're going to have your sofa, the long sofa mm -hmm. against. Okay. So that's the 30. Mm -hmm. Now when you get to the 10, you don't want to do it on the wall. Mm. You want to do it on the accessories. You want to do it on the on the cushions. You want to do it on the um, small features. It's your earring, okay? If I'm wearing a suit, it's my tie. So is that a different color? That's a different color. So you can have like three colors. You can but have three colors. The amount of the color you follow these principles. You follow those principles. Interesting. Exactly. But then uh, there's something that I need to point out. The mm -hmm. the the um, we have formulas of doing colors. We have uh, the monochromatic theme. Okay. okay. We have the contrasting theme. And then we have the accent theme. Okay. Monochromatic, if you're working with blue, 
for instance. The base color, the 60, will be a light blue. Then the 30, the feature wall, will be a dark blue. Okay? Then uh, the 10% will now come in the accessories. It is in the vase, it is in the cushion, it is in the frame of the picture, it is in the lampshade. That's monochromatic. Mm -hmm. If you go for the contrastic theme, so mono means one. one. So one color, you're just using different, different shades, shades. Yes. of the color. So yes. a dark blue, a medium blue, and a light blue. Exactly. Got it. So when you get into the, uh, where was I? Monochrom uh, not Mono monochromatic, the contrasting. contrasting. Contrasting, there's something we call um, a color wheel. <laughs> color wheel, uh, there are colors that are arranged in uh, two triangles. Mm -hmm. anyway, it, it's a long story. But those are colors that are opposite each other. Okay. For instance, um, there's contrast in the Safaricom logo. Uh, okay, not to name brands. <laughs> <laughs> but there's contrast in that. In that you have a green background with the red mm -hmm. lettering. Mm -hmm. What does that do? It gives character. Mm. It, it calls you out. It shouts. It calls for attention. Okay. So if you want that in your house, so the feature wall will be one of the, uh, the colours. Then the accessories will do the contrast. Mm. Okay, green. You do red. Uh, if you have purple, you do yellow. If okay. you have yellow, you do purple. If you ha have orange, you do blue. In small doses. In though. small doses. You don't want it to be overwhelming. Right. Okay. And then you'd look shady. <laughs> so you need to control it. Yes. Can I? Okay. So in, this is Nairobi. This is Kenya. Yes. Uh, East Africa. Shout out to all of you who are watching us from Uganda and yes, Tanzania. Yes, Karibuni yes. sana to our mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. um, and most people will tend to, thank God it's raining now, mm -hmm. at least mm -hmm. today, but vumbi, right? So a lot of people will tend to have dark brown furniture. Yes. It's just a lot easier to take care of. Yes. And then when kids come and, you know, they're scribbling all over the place, it's just a lot easier to take yes, care it of. Is. Uh, darker furniture than mm -hmm. it is to take care of lighter furniture. Especially with kids. But then <laughs> that obviously then affects or limits how much color you can in introduce into a space, doesn't yes. it? Yes, it does. What are some common, like, I guess, uh, um, quick quick ideas that you could share with our audience members mm -hmm. as far as what to do if your space already has darker furniture? Okay, if you have darker furniture, go light. But this is the beauty of light colors. You can, you can, look, this is a principle I work with. In Kenya, it is hard to have a white wall. Mm. You'll have that uh, on the oh, door frames. Right. You'll yeah. have that on the windows. Because every time you go to open the window, you'll lean against the wall. Yeah. Every time you go to open the door, you'll hold the wall. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So you'll find that, especially if you walk into a white space, just look at the door. Just look at where people are sitting. On that wall, you'll see how they've hit the wall with their mm -hmm. shoes and whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy maintaining white. What do you do? Add a tint or a tinge of brown and you get an off-white. Mm -hmm. That hides the dirt. Okay. Then these days, there are colors that can easily be wiped. Okay. After a few weeks, you wipe it. Uh, you, we have finishes that are, well, gloss for high commercial spaces. Uh, silk for residentials, yeah. silk is easy. Mm -hmm. It dries quickly, you wipe it, and you're good to go. Okay. Mm. What about wallpaper? For those who maybe want some more pattern or, yes. I don't know, prints on their wall that mm -hmm. invite color, how would you go about using wallpaper? Use the 60-30, 60-30 10 rule, As and well. let the wallpaper be the 30. So the 10, the 10 that you're going to have, the accessories, will have too much with the wallpaper. Mm. I am very, I don't, I, uh, well, I have a bias. I don't love wallpaper. I love effects, wall effects, paint effects. Yeah. But when you're choosing wallpaper, be careful with pattern. Yeah. Okay, be careful with pattern. You don't want to overwhelm the space yeah. with heavy pattern. Yeah. Uh, how big is your space? If you have a big space, big, go for big patterns. We're mm -hmm. moving from color to pattern. Mm -hmm. But pattern has color in, the, in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to emphasize the size of a room, if it's big, go for big pattern. If it's small, go for small pattern. But that is proportional. Within that 30% yes, rule. Don't, yes. don't, do don't, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't go crazy. It. Don't go crazy. All right, we yes. have an SMS here. Mm -hmm. uh, hey Joyce, it's Kemi from Egesa. Is it good to color match the curtains with the seat covers? And she says, Love you, Joyce. Love you too. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Full Circle with Joyce. But um, is it good to color match the curtains with the seat covers? Great question. That is brilliant. Brilliant, That he is says. brilliant. So whatever feature color you're going to have, curtains are accessories. 
they are decorative items. Mm. Okay. So curtains would be in like what the thirty? That that would depending be part of the, the ten, depending on the size of, of your room. window. Okay? okay. So they can also be the thirty. They can be the ten or, or the, the thirty, 30. Gotcha. depending on the size of the room. Okay. Okay. So if you're doing pattern on the cushion, try and match it with the curtain. Yeah. That would be the thirty or the. It depends on the size of the room. Okay. Yes, but match it, match it. Have fun with it. And a lot of us are using artwork also to introduce color in yes, our spaces. Yes. Maybe you can briefly talk about that as well. Now, again, I, I will, I will tell my our viewers <laughs> to stick to the. <laughs> I like <laughs> how you claimed my viewers. Oh, <laughs> mine, it's mine. What? <laughs> so, um, 60, 30, 10. Okay. Remember that, 60, 30, 10. Well, don't, don't go into the mathematics. Oh, is it, is it 30? No, it, it's just proportions. Yeah. Don't overwhelm the space with the feature wall. Okay. Okay, and don't overwhelm the space with accessories. Mm -hmm. it, it will look, well, the trend at the moment is mi minimalistic. Yeah. Have as little as possible. You, it, uh, well, the highest form of sophistication is simplicity. Go simple. Go easy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think another question here is concerning throw pillows. Mm -hmm. So you've talked about curtains matching them with the seat yes. covers. Uh -huh. Someone else is asking about throw pillows, mm -hmm. um, those long sausage pillows, yes. <laughs> um, and color as well, because yes. those could be accents as well. They could be accents. Uh, what you do is, um, again, go contrast or monochromatic. Mm. Okay, or accent. Accent is just a color that is adjacent, like yellow. Um, orange is adjacent. It's right next to red, on the okay, color yeah. on the color wheel. So do that. Have fun with that. You can see the seat is red. The carpet is orange. Right. So if you the throw cushions, depending on the colors of the walls, you have that. There are no uh, absolutes right. in design. There are no rules. There are no rules, but there just are principles. principles. Follow those principles. Mm. If you're going with contrast, work with contrast. If you're going with uh, monochromatic, monochromatic, go with monochromatic. If mm -hmm. you're going with ascent, go with ascent. Okay. But have have a spine to your house. Okay. There's a story to your house. Okay. Let it blend together so that when you walk in, you don't feel like you're you're the oh, foreign wow. object <laughs> in that room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And of course, darker colors will make a space seem smaller. No, color, color, dark colors are beautiful. Dark colors are very beautiful. My house. Um, I, I don't know if I pointed this out last time. My kids used to draw everywhere. So what I did, I just went and got a dark color. Well, not black, but I, I took a color that matches with the other walls. Mm. So that's my feature wall. Okay. That's my 30. And I painted a matte color that is easy to draw with chalk. Wow. So in my house, you'll come in and you'll find these many drawings, Bible verses everywhere, but they and they mark how they're growing. They will draw an outline of their bodies. That's they just cute. have fun. That's very and cute. that's their wall. Okay. So all my other walls are clean. And they're, okay. they're, they're, they're allowed to There's draw and show how they feel like. Enjoy. Awesome. Yes. Great ideas. Yes. <laughs> um, great ideas there from you, Ifantas, mm -hmm. uh, Tanashkuru Sana. I hope you guys have learned something. I certainly have. I'm walking away with this 60 30 10 Stick rule. Stick to that. Watch me this afternoon being in the house, <laughs> like, hmm, this wall, this color. Um, this Joy, spare us, spare us. We are consultants. <laughs> Let us work for you. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope you guys have learned something again. And uh, um, we're going to take a short break right now. I'm seeing some man with really big hair, and he's ready to come and talk to us and just tell us a bit about. Uh, his musical journey. He's going to be joining us on the show. That's Kemo Vitima. All right, stay tuned for this and much more right here on Full Circle with Joyce. Damn. We stand for peace. Hey. 
sioka eh hey. tunapona mudhokoi damu tunaenda kutafuta maji mai we stand for peace hey. nikipatana na kamao eh ananiusia dawa ya bende kemo the tima like i don't know you can't sit still with his music <laughs> one my mind is always racing like you're really trying to catch up with all the lyrics like mazee wa jamaa nasema nini by the way and then you hear it and you're just like that is so hilarious so brilliant so creative ladies and gentlemen for the very first time on full circle with joyce kemo vitima karibu sana to this show asante sana hii nywele yako akiwacha nikuulize yes wewe unaitunza aje unajua mademu wako na ini natural unajua ukipigwa radi nywele inasimama you don't have to tunza it <laughs> Ndio ndio sio kutunza nywele kama hii ni kukaribia socket. Ndio unapigwa radi inasimama. Unajua wasana anahangaika huku. Tunalipa pesa nyingi. Waende kwa socket. For all of you on a healthy hair journey and really trying to sort out yourselves what channel in your products. Kemo amesema muende muende kwa enda tu kwa socket. Kwa socket. Enda tu kwa socket. Pigwa radi nywele isimama enda kasi. Welcome to the show Kemo. Really good to see you. Thank you so much. We were just saying over the break how it's been such a while since I last saw you. Ni kitambo wewe. Mimi na kuona na kuona tu kwa TV. Kweli? Eh. Hata mimi na kuona gatu kwa TV. Hapo ndo tunaona tunaona ngianga. Tunaona na ngianga kwa TV. Kuna mtu ameniambia ni kilala koi carpet na blending. Na potea huko ndani. Na tujole na another orange pants. Awesome, awesome. Your your government names are William Komore. Kamore. Kamore. Yes, Professor Kamore. I know you've heard of Professor Kamore. That's my own name, yes. When did you venture into music? Uh that was back in uh, 2000 actually I started singing back in 2006 mm-hmm. that's when I started like recording queen by ile kuingia kwa studio you, d- you were done with school you were what were yes, you doing at the time I was done with uh yes I was actually done nilikuwa nimetoka form 4 okay so hiyo ndo time nilikuwa try kujua nini ndafanya so actually the first time I recorded was in South Sea uh-huh. funny enough ni hapa tu so I recorded like a full album nikamit Nikamit uh, Dice was my producer back then. Wow. The brother of mm. So he heard what I was doing. Tukaimba imba kidogo then obviously life moves on. Nika tukafungwa studio inaitwa wa Kamata. Yes. So in town. So I was a producer for a while. Okay. And I'm still a producer. Ele yeah. ele production. Eh? Yeah. So nimeko in production then obviously I met Stiga like back in 2009 we did a couple of projects. Mm-hmm. But then later I moved on to Samati band tuka tukaanza band which was doing uh, pretty rather well eh? it was actually samawati band uh, if you watched our episode last week um uh, kemo's sister was here beach yes. somari yes. and uh, kemo was also part of my wedding eh walishikilia you guys were hey, to turn up the turn up was real Sanjana. but uh, yeah so after samawati where did you what Af- then did you decide After Samawati, I I decided to do a project with Stiga which was now the team anthem, eh? Yeah. And it just became a whole new story. Like it took me on a different paradigm. Unajua? <laughs> so ikakuwa now it came on Stiga the team anini nini yeah. and we did obvious a couple of projects to kafanya. Yeah. Like uh Gadigiri uh Amani Nitamu mm-hmm. uh the rendition. So ikakuwa sasa ni came on stiga kidogo but now yeah. I've I moved on to being a solo artist. Ever tell us about the Tima? Like what what was behind that song? The Tima ilikuwa <laughs> the the slogan itself the Tima ni mimi nilikuwa nimefanya mm-hmm. originally. Mm-hmm. So hiyo the Tima madijo ilikuwa natumia sana. So I thought why can't I blend this to becoming a song? song, you know? So in the process of creation Uh, Stiga pia nilikuwa nafanyia a couple of projects in my studio. Mm-hmm. So akakam hiyo day aka happen kwa studio nika nika show see we do something with this the team we see what we can come up with. Mm-hmm. And that is how the team anthem was born. Wow. So na ikakuwa. <laughs> And now what's your creative process like? Cuz I'm sure many people really admire how you're able to be so creative mm-hmm. with your music. What's the process like for you? Ah, uh, seriously say Martin inakuaga. It's not like kitu could define this is how I create something. Mm-hmm. If I hear a word and then it's 
sort of like captures me. Unajua hata sasa unaweza sema kitu ni capture. Kwa hivyo nimesema story ya socket. Labda ni sema ah socket. I think I can write something about a socket. Mm -hmm. So I start writing from that. So anything to inaweza inaweza come to mind. Ama naweza ona kitu then ai hiyo kitu by the way why don't I write something that relates mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that nakaga chini na sema hivi ndo itago. Right. I just let the inspiration flow depending na vile. Yeah. But and you're a gospel musician. Yes, I'm a gospel artist. Why is it so important to you then to still have like a gospel message in these songs that clearly mm. are transcending from people who are not even Christians, for yeah. example, right? Your, your songs, I feel, have a way of just getting out to everybody. Why sure. Why have you stuck then to gospel music? What does that mean to you? For me, it's, it's all about... Uh, how you bring out a message that reaches out to people that you want to because how it's not what you say but how you say it mm. so how you want to say it it's you, you want to say it in a way that someone who is not uh, inclined or someone who is not acquainted to the gospel world is going to understand that message and hopefully you're going to win that person to christ mm -hmm. so i that's why we prefer or i rather prefer to put some humor in the music eh? mm -hmm. so that uh someone who hears the message when is a captivity on your humor fast eh? but once you hear the song again you're gonna oh come with these guys so, uh, there's someone like Uza. oh there's someone like uh, oh there's jericho no, no. Yeah. So you've you've passed on the message, okay. and that's the most important thing to yeah. pass on the message. Yeah. But how you pass on the message really matters. Okay. Yeah. So would you say that this is now your style of music? Is this what you want to stick to? Or we now kesho labda tatu chapiaka kawashi medley apo mali. You know me. Pole na tunyele. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know I've been in uh, I've been in Samoati band yeah. so for me I'm I'm really versatile when it comes to music mm -hmm. but if people accepted me as this guy who is crazy if that's the way they're going to understand my message then I I I would stick to it but pia na pena muziki ile muziki yenye you know yeah. you play a guitar you play an instrument and you play so, you play drums I play all instruments actually, play all like instruments. most things. Okay, the main instruments. Yeah. Let me not say all instruments because we move, <laughs> but the main instruments. Yeah. So I I I would do something musical. By the way, there's a rock song I did. Mm. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Inaito wa uh, Save Me Again. Mm. So that's like pure like rock. It's really musical. Yeah. So unaza unaza ni kaka kwa box kaku fanya muziki. Then all of a sudden. Nifanya kawashi people na sema so yeah uh, I'm not sure if I'm really going to stick to just doing sure. uh, this crazy crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing with creators um, and musicians, like for me too, mm. um, there's the way that you present yourself to the public, mm. you know, because it's part of your brand, your identity, exactly. and whatnot. But then sometimes you find that the people who are really out there, yeah. sometimes are very like calm, cool, collected people. Exactly. Um, that's certainly for me. Like after a gig, I just need space. I just need to be by myself. Is that? I mean, what's your personality like? Or you, you're just a people person. Like you don't mind. I think most artists are like that. We are like sort of like introverts and extroverts all at the same time there's yeah. some time you want to be that crazy guy who is out there and there's just some time you just want to be alone and probably you just want to breathe yeah uh, by the other me you need happen evil sana sana after the gig eh? after a gig yeah i feel like these guys have drained all my yeah, emotional yeah. energy yeah. i'm drained yeah. so i just want to go and relax and i don't want to talk to i just want to be in my car alone space yeah Sometimes that car alone space, you know me, I'm married. Eh? Mm -hmm. So my wife, sometimes she doesn't understand this car, my car alone space. I'm trying to tell her, I need like my car space. I understand. Yeah. But that happens, especially I think to many uh, people who are artists. Eh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to be out and sometimes you want to be, to be alone, to yeah. sort of like withdraw kidogo. Yeah. So it, it happened to me as well. Did you get married before or after the Tima? It was actually you know in a semekana ya kwamba the one who finds a wife <laughs> and apata ile like kitu inaitwa a favor <laughs> immediately uh, immediately after i got married like was it a few months yes like 6 months later and the team really talker wow yes how did she take it cuz obviously at this point you've been doing uh, samawati band like was she surprised by how like dramatic this person no, is she she knew me before so yeah. 
she she knew I'm crazy, but she didn't know the extent <laughs> of my <laughs> craziness. Surprise. Yeah, actually, I can I can na kuoga na element ya surprise. I can surprise you with. Ata mi mo nyani ji surprise. Na fanya gaki tu ata mi mo nyani ji surprise. Is it is that me? You know, yeah. So na na ku ana ku ana ku rusu ku boro kichano ku chana nyola na fanya ti kwa nyumba. I'm very curious about your look, by the way. Like, what yeah. sort of spoke to it? Like, why? Because you always dress in really bright colors, especially on your videos. It's very bright colors. Like, it's all mixed up, and then the hair. Like, yeah. why this look? I think. Am I your socket generally fanya kazi? Kazi ma we. Oki pigo radi na toka kwa nyumbu kwa sa. <laughs> so, lazima kila kitu ikae. Yeah. Even my house is very bright by the way. Is it? Very. We bright. were just talking about interior design, you know. Yes. Yeah. I like like bright colors. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a lot of <laughs> this orange stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this yes. orange, this yes. one. Yes. Awesome. Wow. So, so tell us about what you're working on uh, right now. What can we Are you working on something new? Can we expect to see something yeah. soon? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually working on uh, a couple of projects which I'm hoping to release this year, which mm -hmm. obviously is going to be crazy nice. But I'm still really hoping to do some really calm music, like you know, like you're saying. And I know that's going to like, you know, throw people off like kumbe umsana is a do, major. So I'm also really ex I'm really hoping to to release a couple of nice projects. Like if you noticed with my latest song which is Dongoda. Mm -hmm. It's crazy but at the same time it's really musical. It has a musical uh, essence to it. Yeah. Una unasikia guitar, unasikia there's there's some kind of musicality, musicality in sure. it, yeah. All so right. so I'm really trying to go that direction as well, but I still want to maintain <laughs> Kemo, awesome to have you here. Guys, I want to give Kemo a chance to share his song with us. Unasemaje do? Dongoda. Dongoda, eh. Oh, they say my point, huh? Dongoda. Some people really struggle with Dongoda. They <laughs> say, it's G, Tunguta. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your feedback all across the week. We really do appreciate you guys for making the show what it is. Asanteni sana sana to all of our viewers across East Africa. Um, that's it for me for today and for the week. Uh, I'll be back here on Monday, of course, as we continue with Full Circle with Joyce. But for now, here is Kemo with Dunguda. I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Nice. <laughs>